Hello friends! So we are finishing up some of my packing this week. I shouldn't say finishing up, I should say organizing exactly what I'm going to be packing because we still have um, a little over a week to go um, before our cruise. But I wanted to do a vlog today about my carry-on bag. Um, I don't know if you guys know, if you've been on a cruise you kind of know. Um, but cruising is much like flying where um, you have to check your bags um, at the cruise terminal and then they basically scan them and you know make sure that you're not bringing anything hazardous or dangerous on and then they deliver your actual suitcases to your stateroom. So um, I always like to carry or pack a carry-on bag with us um, or with me so that way if there's things that I want or need right away before I get my bags delivered to our room I have things with me because um, very often when we get to a cruise ship we like to you know walk around and explore the ship and maybe grab something to eat and um, you know go up on the top deck and check out the sights and um, even if it's like decent weather or whatever we'll you know go for a swim or whatever so I'm gonna kind of go over what I put in my carry-on bag that I take with me on my cruise now the cruise that we're going on um, in a few days is out of New York City and it's February and it's snowing today and I'm sure the weather is gonna be pretty cold when we actually um, debark so I've got kind of a range of things that I'm taking with me so you'll you'll understand more as I'm explaining along this video um, why I'm taking both a bathing suit and a winter hat um, but uh, so we are going on the Norwegian breakaway it's our first time on the breakaway and I've heard that it's a beautiful ship and I'm very excited to see it Yes, so this is my carry-on bag, and this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Um, it's not the GM, so it's not the huge one, but it is definitely big enough for a carry-on bag. Um, it's my purse that I've been using as like my everyday purse, um, but it's plenty deep enough that I can, you know, put all of my stuff that I'm taking with me um, on the ship as a carry-on. So that's what I'll be using. So let's kind of start over on this side and work our way this way. So I am bringing my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, I always bring it with me only because even though I'll be on the cruise ship, I'll probably be doing some um, work while I'm there, um, taking video for my blog um, or, you know, pictures or, you know, anything even if I'm sitting at the pool and I kind of want to organize my schedule a little bit I can do that so I'm definitely bringing that um, obviously a pen um, then I am bringing my iPad and I have some books um, downloaded on my iPad so if we're you know sitting out at the pool or at the beach I'll be able to do some reading and I've also downloaded some magazines on there and I have some games I play too I play the frozen free fall um, so there's that. Um, then I'm also bringing my travel agent copy of the Norwegian Breakaway flyer or brochure, booklet, whatever. Um, because this is our first time being on the ship, I like to have this for reference. Um, you know, in the back is actually a really good like floor plan. Um, so we'll know exactly where everything is because I'm sure there's like what 18 decks yeah there's 18 decks on this ship and there's just so much that I'm sure I'm gonna be using this to you know figure out where things are um, and it, it is nice to have to or even just you know just to look through all the pages flip out but um, so I'm gonna be bringing that with me then I'm going to be bringing a middle of envelope with all of our travel documents, which I have already in here printed out. Um, so all of those will be here, all confirmation numbers, um, you know, directions, everything. I'll be putting the direction. Yeah, I'll be putting all of my directions into my GPS in my car. So, um, but I just want to have that stuff in case I need it, like phone numbers and, and all of like any type of information that I need. Um, so I'll have that in my envelope. Um, then I am going to be bringing not my puppy dog sleeping, 
out because she's going to visit Auntie, huh? Her and little Maya are going to visit their cousin, Ula, who's a French bulldog, for the week. But anyhow, um, I'm going to bring our Canon camera. Um, this takes good video and pictures. I'm sure we'll be taking lots of pictures, um, especially of New York City when we're leaving and down in the islands. That will be nice to have. And I'm bringing a 64 gig, I don't know if it's focusing, card. Eh, it's not focusing. Anyhow, that's an extra 64. I think I've got a 32 in the camera already, but it takes up a lot when I'm videoing. I'll probably video some on my phone but I'll probably also video some on the camera. Then, um, obviously, power cords. Um, this is the one for my iPad. I'm also going to bring the one for my phone, but I don't have it here yet because I have it plugged in right now. Um, my Ray-Ban sunglasses, which I'm sure I will need. I don't know what the day is going to be like yet when we leave, but who knows? It might be sunny, and so I just want to have them. They're also prescriptions, so sometimes even if it's just bright with like a lot of snow or whatever, I like them for driving because it helps cut the glare a little bit because um, we are like a three-hour drive from here to the port, so we'll be driving in the morning for a while. Um, this is a a must for cruising is some, um, if I can, my phone does not want to, there we go, um, antibacterial hand gel, actually I should probably put another one in there. I always bring the hand sanitizer with me on the cruise because we're in such tight quarters with everybody that it's, uh, it's nice to have that. They also dispense it everywhere on the ship also, but I like to have my own. I'm um, bringing some ibuprofen. Um, in addition to the ibuprofen, I'm also going to bring um, something for motion sickness. I'm usually pretty good. I usually don't get motion sickness, um, but I also have never cruised out of New England or actually anywhere north in the Northeast yet. So I've heard that the water can be a little choppier and you can feel it a little bit more. Um, so I am going to bring um, some sort of motion sickness medication. Um, not sure what yet, but I'll probably pick something up here in a few days. Um, I'm going to bring my EOS. I don't know what this flavor or scent was. I think it was like berry or something, but um, that will be good for dry lips, especially if you're going to be out on the top deck as we're leaving. If it's windy and cool or cold and windy and blustery, whatever, uh, I definitely want to have that for my lips. Um, and also, my hands will be getting dry, so I'm going to bring some hand cream to have. And this just happens to be one of my brands um, that I really like. And I got this in one of my monthly subscription bags. I, don't, I think it was my Ipsy bag. But this is um, Toka, uh, Tocha, Toka? I don't know. Grapefruit cucumber scented. It's really nice. Nice and soft. It's not like greasy or oily or anything like that. Um... Then I'm also bringing um, my nail polish that I'm going to be wearing. And I actually tried it on right now. Or I shouldn't say right now. I tried it on like yesterday just to see how I'd like it. And um, this one is Lollipop. So I'm going to be bringing that with me in case I need like a touch-up or whatever. Never know when you're going to need a touch-up. And my... There we go. My phone does not want to be uh, focusing today. Then I'm going to bring my Fitbit. Um, I'll probably be wearing this actually. Um, I like it because it is also um, my clock or my um, watch. So I'll be bringing this with me um, and, and tracking, you know, what I've done during our vacation. I'm going to bring my Beats by Dre in-ear headphone earbuds right there in case I want to you know listen to something while we're waiting or whatever um and this is my little makeup bag and I just pulled a couple of things probably a lot of these stuff I'll just put in my little makeup bag here but I'm gonna bring a lip gloss and this one is in love it's the Lancome and the color is I think it's just gloss in love that's the color but it's a nice like neutral color Nice pinky neutral color. 
Um, I'm also bringing um, Volumize Mascara just to keep in my bag for a little touch up if I would like to do that. I'll be doing my makeup before we leave in the morning anyhow, so I probably won't need it, but who knows, my makeup bag will be in my luggage and if my luggage arrives late of some, for some reason to our room and we wanna get dinner and I just wanna like touch up, I'll have that. Um, then this is another must that I'm bringing and this is my Kula Mineral Sunscreen. And even though there's probably not a ton of sun on the day that we leave, um, even being outside a little bit with the you know, snow or whatever. I just want to make sure I'm protected. So there's that. Um, and again, this is one of the, this is the makeup bag I'm bringing. This is one of the Ipsy monthly subscription bags. I just like the color, so I'm bringing that one. Um, over here, I'm going to bring a few little pieces of candy um, just to keep in my bag also. Um, just for sugar, because my sugar tends to run low especially when I'm like busy doing things so I'm gonna just bring that um then my little Louis Vuitton clutch which I also use as a wallet so in here I've got all of my like my pa our passports um photo IDs credit cards money everything like that I'll be keeping in here and it's nice because I can just take this if I need to and if I don't want to take my whole big bag with me I'll just have the little clutch that I can take that with me now, bathing suits. Um, I am bringing a bathing suit with me and it is going to be pretty cold outside so I won't be swimming outside on the ship on the first day. However, inside they do have a few hot tubs which possibly we might be doing depending on, you know, our room right now, we're, we have a guaranteed state room, so I'm not really sure where our room's going to be, but um, we it's possible that we could get an upgrade, and if we happen to get an upgrade into the Haven of some, uh, one of the Haven rooms, we can use the Haven area, and they have um, an indoor pool as well. So I am going to bring my bathing suit just in case. I don't know if I'll use it, but I wanted to have it just in case, and I'm also going to bring um, my bathing suit cover-up which is right here. It's like a nice silky cover up, which I also showed in my previous vlog, excuse me, um, that included a lot of the stuff that I was packing. And I am also bringing a winter hat. This one is the un uh, my Under Armour knitted winter hat. And I'm going to bring that because it might be cold up on the very top deck when we leave. And I'm sure we're going to want to see the Statue of Liberty go by. So bringing the hat just in case. So that's pretty much everything that I am going to be packing in my carry-on. Um, I am going to do another vlog on what I'm going to be packing in my makeup case. I did get a new makeup case, which I'm going to just give you a really quick preview of it. Um, I just picked this up yesterday. I needed a new makeup case. I really like this one. I found it at TJ Maxx. It opens up um, and then there's a zip part here where you can put stuff. There's a zipper pouch in the middle and then another zip container, zip compartment on the other side. So I'm going to be doing a separate vlog on all of like my makeup and skincare and beauty products that I'm going to be bringing with me. So that will be on the next vlog. So I hope you've enjoyed my um, tips on packing for your carry-on for a cruise. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.